so we use activity lists to uh, complement our benchmark lessons and the rubric. So the kids use the rubric when we use our task launch so they know what we're gonna be learning about. So for instance, in science right now, we're using it to learn about living things. So we have a focus on uh, animals, plants, adaptations, biomes, all these different standards that are in this unit. And so the way the rubric is written is the students will go to the rubric and know, okay, well, I don't know uh, about animal adaptations. So they would be able to go to the activity list for that and they'd be able to do um, learning activities for that, practice opportunities for that, and then we have what's called a line of learning, which is where they would show their mastery of that. And then they would use that to mark off the rubric that they understand it. So that's really how we use them, as in conjunction uh, with our teaching, our benchmark lessons, and also with the rubric. Uh, I think the biggest thing is the kids getting the option to choose which path they want to take, whether they want to uh, do something that's a little bit more hands-on, like sometimes we'll have sorts and things like that for them to do with the animals, uh, to sort them out to uh, whether they're invertebrates, vertebrates, that type of thing. So it's more hands-on versus some kids would like to watch a video about it, and some kids would rather view a PowerPoint. So it gives them the option to go at their pace. And then again, it also gives those kids extra practice, and it gives them an extension too. Uh, I know for a couple of the units, uh, our fifth grade team came together. I know Mrs. Kelly added a lot in for social studies as well for those activity lists. Extension, so it would go beyond what our standards cover, but it also gives that enrichment opportunity, so it's built in. So I like how it kind of meets everybody and gives them a platform to go from. Um, I think the biggest aha for me was when we went to a how are they going to learn it, how are they going to practice it, how are we going to assess it. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, one thing that we started using a couple years back were these great journals um, where they were tied into their learning and it helped them track their progress. Uh, Sammy and um, the whole team, like they just did a phenomenal job with them. They're beautiful, they look great. Um, but it's just, it guides their learning and it helps them know which activity correlated to the activity list and they were able to jot down their notes inside. So something to help guide them. Uh, that was a big aha for us, uh, was the journals in conjunction with the activity list. But really it was just making sure that we had something to assess them. So that, that way they had a purpose for going to the activity list. It's to learn and then practice and then have an assessment piece.